I would like, yeah, I would like to start with saying that I'm not Monika Smaga, the name that you can see on uh, on the screen. My name is Magdalena Gawai, and I'm just the presenter and uh, presenting the work of the colleague of mine, an expert that was cooperating uh, with us within the project. So. Um, just to introduce briefly uh, Monika Smaga, Dr. Monika Smaga, she is a graduate of um, Łódź Technical, Technical University of Łódź, a chemical researcher and a practical teacher who actually cooperates with teachers, um, chemistry teachers in, uh, in Łódź region, and this is where we come from. And she also teaches herself as well, so she's not just a researcher, a teacher trainer, but also a practical teacher involved in teaching. So I would like to present what she has written and prepared for um, this conference. So as you can see, the title, Educational Methods and Teaching Materials Used in Chemistry Teaching in Polish Schools. So I would like to start with a short uh, introduction to what the situation looks like at the moment. We have undergone many uh, educational reforms which we have, um, which introduced new curricula and syllabuses uh, for scientific subjects um, due to the fact that scientific subjects were very much ignored by the students and not very appreciated in teaching as, uh, as such. Of course, new approaches to teaching and learning chemistry were introduced, um, mainly oriented for hands-on activities in uh, inquiry-based learning and of course um, something which allows students um, to ponder of, over what they are doing and evaluate their work. Uh, all this gives them, uh, after these reforms, teachers are purely flexible in the choice of methods at different levels of education and um, of course the general idea was to promote chemistry among uh, students and um, generally scientific uh, subjects, but of course we are facing plenty of obstacles, um, lack of money, uh, plenty of laboratories uh, in schools were, um, were closed or uh, just changed to different classrooms and before the reforms we actually had chemistry classes in primary school and after the reform the major um, the major thing was that chemistry was removed from primary school uh, curriculum and um, substituted with science, basic science um, um, subjects and actually students start learning chemistry as a subject itself only in lower secondary school which is gymnasium level and they are between 13 to 16 year old uh, then. But, um, the chemistry education lasts three years and then students go to upper secondary school and at that stage you can see, um, well, we have a choice of, of chemistry education. The basic one lasts for a year only, and this is just a basic chemistry education which is not very um, theoretical, mostly practical. And then uh, for those who are more advanced in chemistry and more um, interested in uh, extended curricula, um, they can study uh, chemistry for the whole uh, upper secondary school period, which is three years, with uh, at least uh, four hours of chemistry a week. Uh, of course, then they can join um, special interest groups, chemical interest groups and special um, uh, clubs, which um, help them to develop their chemical knowledge. Uh, of course, um, when, as you can see, the chemistry education is divided in, between these levels and of course it has to apply different approaches. Um, uh, first of all, due to the age of the students, they start learning chemistry at the age of 13 and officially they finish at the age of 19. So um, it's the first thing is their age and their capability of understanding uh, different scientific concepts. And also they are interested in chemistry as such. So different methods and tools are applied at different levels. Let me first introduce the lower, lower secondary uh, school. So as I said, three years of chemistry education, a pretty extensive curriculum uh, introducing both organic and non-organic chemistry uh, with physical and chemical properties of elements and compounds introduced. So at this very, uh, this particular stage this, uh, has to awaken students' inter interest in chemistry, but the facts the fact is that plenty of students actually um, 
get this demotivated after three years of studying chemistry at this level, uh, despite the fact that this education is based on the chemistries around us basis, so students are uh, presented um, chemical world, um, which is uh, to be found in the kitchen or um, in the world like uh, production of uh, fuel or um, just the dietary uh, aspects of, um, of our human life. Um, and then after uh, the lower secondary school, as I've mentioned, students have a choice, though, uh, choice of basic level of chemical education which is aimed at students with um, a really low interest in chemistry and with no perspective, um, a prospective career choice in chemical um, industry. So again, um, teachers um, are uh, requested or uh, motivated enough to introduce chemist chemical um, issues and in a very practical approach showing and uh, demonstrating and involving students in what uh, is present around us without theory introduced at a very advanced level. Um, so um, it is also accompanied by presenting interesting facts from science in general and chemistry. So students learn about biographies, for example, of um, famous chemists and um, and other scientists. Um, at this level, uh, because that's the level of um, the teenagers, um, again, the applications of chemistry in pharmacy, medicine, sports, cosmetics and food uh, are supposed to uh, interest students uh, much more than, uh, for example, theoretical introduction. And then uh, advanced, uh, advanced curricula, which is mainly objected um, at those who are really interested in continuing their education at um, chemis chemical education at, uh, for chemistry or related um, sciences like medicine, pharmacy or biotechnology. Uh, so this level um, of education is pretty much um, accompanied by theory, by doing equations and um, calculations of, of um, different um, <coughs> chemical processes. Um, at this level, uh, especially in those schools, um, secondary schools, which specialize in uh, advanced curricula, chemical uh, curricula, uh, chemistry clubs and special interest groups are organized by, for, for students and uh, uh, the teachers who conduct uh, and monitor and tutor all, these, uh, all this activity uh, engage students in the practical laboratory uh, work where students experiment and um, are uh, engaged um, in a more practical way rather than uh, studying things in theory. And of course this level is the one that prepares uh, students for chemical competitions, both national and international. And um, so the role of the teacher, the chemistry teacher, is actually, um, um, well, the teacher has to be ready to apply three different approaches to teaching chemistry. Of course, it's a, uh, it's a very rare thing that there is a teacher, one teacher who works at both levels, um, so it was as it was said, uh, Polish teachers has have to be uh, licensed and uh, qualified for the right level. So um, the teachers who work in lower um, secondary schools don't usually work with uh, upper secondary school students. So these are two different um, approaches that are applied. Um, so of course, the teacher, as we've mentioned, as I've mentioned, has the uh, a really wide choice of materials and tools to be used um, in, a, um, in a laboratory. So with, um, in a schools which are not very chemically oriented, uh, usually this is the choice of visual aids and uh, rather than experimenting in a laboratory, although uh, some of the experiments can be uh, realized with basic laboratory glassware and simple substances just to visualize what is around us in chemical aspect.
So, um, just to sum up, at all stages, as you can see, the methods and tools applied as visualization through experiment of visual aids. So, experiments in those schools um, where labs are pretty well equipped, whereas um, the visual aids would be, for example, posters will be applied in the rest of the schools. Multimedia videos and presentations, which are to be found um, either online on YouTube or presented and created by the teachers themselves uh, in the lesson <coughs> preparation process. Another thing is educational games, uh, which are not multimedia educational games. These are just games which can be bought in, um, in, a, in a shop, um, for example, models of molecules um, where students assemble them together uh, to visualize chemical bonds. And then multimedia educational games, uh, which, are, which is usually a licensed software available with course books for chemistry uh, or, for example, to be downloaded from a publishing house website. Uh, these are usually uh, paid for, so not all the schools can afford them, but, um, but some, uh, those um, most, uh, with the most advanced curriculum, usually get uh, the right uh, software. And then we have educational videos, so for example, uh, especially at the uh, basic chemistry levels, so for example, how muscles work, or the role of the protein <coughs> supplements, as I, isotonic drinks, especially for teenagers. Uh, this is something which, um, which uh, can help arouse interest and um, engage discussion. Of course, um, all this, as it was mentioned before, is, um, cannot substitute the teacher uh, uh, himself or herself. So, uh, in the lesson preparation plan, there uh, has to be uh, involved, um, uh, for example, a chat or debate or interview or discussion in order to let the students um, ponder over what they have been uh, doing and, of course, um, uh, engage them in evaluation and uh, reflection on, on the uh, carried out, uh, for example, experiment. And last but not least, um, for example, educational trips, uh, this, um, especially at the level of um, chemistry around us is, for example, sewage treatment plants or raffineries or uh, chemical or cosmetic um, plants, so which always uh, make students more interested in what they are doing and not only uh, <coughs> theory. So, um, as far as advanced chemistry is concerned, uh, you can also see that, uh, as I've said, it's not only visualizing uh, the experiments, but experimenting itself. So it's uh, pure lab work where students are engaged and, um, and they really do and uh, realize the hands-on activities. So as I've said, um, in Wood, for example, where we come from, there are three schools which have pretty well-equipped laboratories and cooperate with universities. And each of the schools um, organize special interest groups for most up students and access to this particular uh, group is limited, so not all students can join. Um, they have to be really uh, in, uh, motivated and uh, involved in, in the work. Um, at the advanced levels, there is a cooperation with universities. So students go to lectures um, and experiments uh, realized and conducted at polytechnics or universities. Um, and um, as, um, at the, besides this practical bit, students at this level are much more involved in um, calculating, recognizing formulas and chemical calculations, which um, enables them to prepare chemical solutions or conduct experiments and determine observations which um, they um, do in the class. And of course, um, after all this, they are able to compare the chemicals in their groups and design experiments and write equations uh, of the chemical processes in order to calculate the tasks. Um, and all this prepares them for, um, for passing the final school leaving exam, which is uh, usually at the extended level 
chemical uh, level, and that gives them a kind of path to university courses which are oriented for pharmacy medicine, for example, or just the chemical industry. So just to conclude, um, despite the differences in all the educational objectives at all stages, um, teachers have the same goals, just to motivate students and um, awaken the awareness of the chemical world and the properties. But of course, in the advanced level, it's more experimenting and observation and doing rather than um, looking at, um, at um, educational videos, for example, although all the ICT um, tools are really appreciated by Polish teachers, especially in those poorly equipped classrooms. Um, so the multimedia visual tools and materials are really um, of great help at all levels, uh, especially that they help understand and realize all the aspects of the chemist, chem chemical issues introduced um, in the curriculum. So that would be pretty uh, that, and I'd like to thank you for um, your attention. And of course, if you have any further questions, you have to <laughs> contact my friend today. So thank you very much.